Of course, a huge majority of this country is against Citizens United. That allows unlimited corporate uh, spending in our elections. We think that it leads to corruption. And by we, I mean the American people here. In fact, let me give you a poll right off the bat here. 81% in a Greenberg, Quinlan, Rosner poll agreed that there is, quote, too much big money spent on political campaigns and elections today, and reasonable limits should be placed on campaign contributions and spending. So in politics, it doesn't get more of an overwhelming majority than that, 81%. Open and shut case. Now, of course, the Republicans in their entirety, almost, I should say, in their entirety, are in favor of Citizens United and love the corporate cash, love the unlimited money because it mainly flows to them. Now, there are some principled Republicans and you have to give them a ton of credit. You know who one of them is? John McCain. Now, there's a million things I disagree with John McCain on and I think he is a warmonger of the first degree and the first order. Having said that, on campaign finance, he has been excellent. He, of course, was one of the co-sponsors of McCain-Feingold that tried to limit uh, the amount of money pouring into politics. And it actually had a lot of positive effects until it was struck down by Citizens United. And John McCain has continued on the path for campaign finance reform. And he has unsolicited sent in a petition to the Supreme Court and filed a brief with them opposing Citizens United. And in fact, 22 other state attorney generals, including some Republicans, have also filed a brief saying that, hey, you know, when Montana's court said Citizens United doesn't apply here because we have a 100-year law uh, against uh, corrupt practices, and uh, we are going to uphold, uphold that law here and not allow corporations to give money in Montana because in the past when we did that, they just wound up bribing all of our politicians. Well, the Supreme Court is going to hear that case. So you've got 22 bipartisan uh, attorney generals, state attorney generals in favor of that. You got John McCain in favor of that. And then of course, President Obama's administration has filed a brief as well, right? Oh wait, I'm getting word here that they have not filed a brief. Of course. It's only 81% of the country. And by the way, your former Republican opponent, which would have made for a great talking point and a great press conference. Got to give credit here to Miles Mogulescu, who wrote about this in uh, Huffington Post. And uh, he makes a great point. My God, imagine the press conference. The two former rivals from the 2008 campaign, flanked by 22 bipartisan state attorney generals, all coming out and saying, we agree with 81% of the country. We've got to overturn Citizens United. We've got to uphold that ruling in Montana and go even further because the state attorney generals just talk about Montana. John McCain went further and said, no, you've got to overturn Citizens United. Recently retired Justice Stevens made a great point. He said, wait a minute now, under the current rulings of the Supreme Court, foreigners are not allowed to contribute to our campaigns. But who owns the corporations? Who knows? In a lot of cases, it's foreigners. There's foreigners that are shareholders, oftentimes significant shareholders in companies. But we don't track that. So there's an enormous logical inconsistency here. And as Justice Stevens and John McCain point out, since Citizens United, we have seen an avalanche of money, if not leading to corruption itself, which it certainly has, certainly leading to the appearance of corruption. Because as Miles points out, 81% of the country thinks that our politicians are influenced too much by money. If that's not the appearance of corruption, I don't know what is. No one can say that that's not the appearance of corruption. So the Supreme Court was wrong. And they need to see that on a factual basis they were wrong and overturn that decision. Now, you don't need all of them to come to the light. You just need one of them. Justice Kennedy thought, no, that it will not lead to corruption or the appearance of corruption. If he is presented with evidence that it did, then perhaps he could be swayed. You know what might be helpful? The President of the United States of America. But apparently, he doesn't give a damn about this issue. Oh, he said something in the State of the Union message in 2010. Big whoop de doo what have you done about it? You haven't done anything about it. Now, it's one thing to take the unlimited super PAC money yourself, which President Obama is doing. But I get it. If you say, hey, listen, I'm not going to do unilateral disarmament, that's an argument I could really uh, get behind. I, I, I never want to do unilateral disarmament. If President Obama said, yes, I am taking unlimited super PAC money, but I will fight to make this, this a top priority in my election. And if I win a re-election, by God, we're going to go as hard as we possibly can with this bipartisan coalition. There's another bipartisan bill that's an amendment on this. Yarmouth Jones. Yarmouth is a Democrat from Kentucky. Jones is a Republican from North Carolina. 
They have joined together and said, hey, you know what? We need to make sure we get money out of politics. President Obama, are you gonna do anything? And as I sit here, I blame myself for being naive enough every morning to wake up and hope that he's ever gonna do the right thing or that he's a progressive in any way, shape, or form. And every day when I read the day's news, I get disappointed all over again. When am I gonna get it through my thick skull? President Obama is not a progressive. He's not one of us. He doesn't give a damn. He takes unlimited money and most oftentimes does the bidding of his donors. He's part of this system. He's not gonna overturn the system. This system made him president of the United States of America. This system eventually, today, but then is al he's already enormously wealthy, but eventually will make him insanely wealthy. Why would he overturn the apple cart that got him all the things that he needs? Well, look, to John McCain's credit, he is doing that, even though he is wealthy and connected and powerful, et cetera. But apparently some people have some principles and others have no principles at all. Now let me take it one step further. After I read this, I felt for a second there, hey, you know what? Maybe I should have voted for John McCain. That's how bad it got. Now do I know, I know that John McCain would have tried to continue Iraq he would have stayed in Afghanistan for a billion years. But you know what? President Obama's gonna stay in Afghanistan through his two terms. How much longer can he stay in Afghanistan, right? Would he, done, would he have done more deportations? Not likely. Would you, John McCain actually was, in the beginning, co-sponsored a reasonable immigration reform bill. Did he switch on that? Yes. Did he become more draconian right-wing? Yes. Can you name, almost on all the issues, John McCain is wrong and right-wing, right? Could he have been more right-wing than Obama on about a third of these issues? No, you literally couldn't be more right-wing. But that's not the point. The point is campaign finance reform is the only issue that matters. Because if you don't win on that, you're gonna have so-called Democratic presidents like President Obama, who aren't, I mean, the old definition of Democrat, the new definition of Democrat is loser, sellout, corrupt politician, right? But you're certainly, you're never gonna get a progressive president under a camp if you don't do campaign finance. So if McCain was 100% wrong on everything else, and he actually did something, and somehow got Citizens United overturned or pushed for a constitutional amendment or whatever it might be, then we might have been better off with McCain. I know, Obama bots, go nuts. Lose your mind, take the quote, put it out of context. Oh my God, Jake says maybe McCain would have been better. Oh my God, he's not a team Democrat. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Have at it, Hoss. Go, go, go tell your, get root, shout it from the rooftops. Go tell your aunt and your uncle. Oh my God, he's not a Democrat. Yeah, goddamn right I'm not. What? This guy's useless. 